Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, your man on the sticks. I have a stick in my hand. We're playing Madden 20, uh, yep. Viking still. Yeah, we're Vikinging it out, Vikinging the possibilities. We are going to take everything in your house. Yeah, we're going to steal it all. Urban Vikings, Jonas. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> As always, playing offense only, Sim in the D, using the balance playbook. Is that, uh, isn't that how you feel? All matter of game mode. I'm depressed about our running back. You're <laughs> what? He's sad. F him, dude. Yeah, that's how I feel. I can't trade him. I've waited dude, too long. how many more games of this you got anyway? A bunch. Not really. Yeah, dude, we got some. What week are we in? Uh, We have like eight more. What week are we in now? This is week, this is the ninth. This is the tenth game. Well, I mean, with the goodness of the team, Jones, I don't know if we're making it to the. We're super. seven and two. We're gonna make the playoffs. I don't know if we're I'm gonna, gonna make, make it, it work because I have a quality control ability. I don't know if we're gonna Come make on. it to the Super Bowl dude, though. I can't. He just he, he's a little B, dude. Why are they, he's getting knocked the f out all the time? There's some the other guy in. I'm just sad, dude. You know, but Jones. What's the most you'll pay for a pair of jeans? Um, I don't only own like one pair of jeans because I wear shorts all the time. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I don't wear jeans very often. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> I mean, what's the, what's the well, most? Also, the other reason I only own like one pair of jeans is that like I've lost a ton of weight, so all my old clothes don't fit. So I just have like one pair I, is like functional. I don't buy new clothes like that because they're just going to sit in my closet and go to waste because I'm continually like losing weight. Alright, so what's the, what's the most you pay for a t-shirt then? Oh, now hate, we're getting in there. Hey, here's, dude, I'm so frugal and stupid. It's like, I feel I, I hate paying 30 bucks for a t-shirt, mm -hmm. but then I'm like I'm gonna wear this T-shirt like a hundred plus times, like throughout its life. I really do feel like you get you get your mouths on a good T-shirt. You get your, your more you get the bang for your buck when you're talking about yeah, a good T-shirt. Yeah, like it, something about me makes me not want to pay thirty bucks for a T-shirt, but then I'm like, you really should pay thirty bucks for a T-shirt if it's a good quality T-shirt, man. If it's a good quality. Well, because I think about like how much cell phones are, but if you think about how much you use that thing, like the if you put it to like pennies per minute of use yeah you're getting so much value you're getting more value than anything all right so i have an s6 jones oh because, my god yeah dude. because i'm a piece of trash and my phone's ancient i paid probably about a thousand bucks for it back uh, whenever it because you did you buy it out, right and i've had it for seven years six years What's, what's that? Well, they're only on the 10 now. So maybe like f five years probably the most. Okay, so yeah, five years. But okay, still, maybe six even years. if you say, even like just break that down by how many days there are in five years. Not to mention, that's already you're getting. Yeah, it's like a dollar. Like less if you than pay a thousand dollars for a phone and you, you say, say you pay a thousand dollars for a phone. Yes. And you only use it for one year, which is ridiculous. You normally at least get two years out of it. Well, I know people who change phones every year. Yeah, but they don't pay $1,000 a year for a no, phone. No, no, no. So say you did that. Even if you did that, you're paying basically roughly $3 a day. Yeah. And if you use your phone, most people use their phone hours a day. Yeah. Even if you use your phone three hours a day, you're paying $1 per hour to use your phone, which is a great deal. What are you in bed with Verizon or something, man? You got a No, dude. I'm you just, got an endorsement out? Money's worth out of things we buy, even though yeah. it seems expensive up front. It it's goes back true. to the t-shirt thing. You know what I mean? If you buy a shirt, it's $30, $40, and you wear it like once, yeah, yeah. it's not really worth That's it. That's not worth it. Now, dress shirts cost that much, but yeah. they're better made. They're, you, you, they're made to only be worn so often mo most of the time. Yo, <laughs> I looked at if I was gonna buy some dress shirts, and when I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars on a dress shirt and some slacks," I was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna do that." Well, oh. it's because how often do you wear it? Exactly. It's better to buy it when you need it and then have it after that than just buy it to have it. I just wanted to like look GQ for a little bit. But yeah. GQ is expensive. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna look like Cleveland trash. Yeah. Well, my, the thing is too, like I work from the house, so like. If I have all these like nice clothes, yeah, I'm dude. not gonna put on a dress shirt and pants to go to Walmart and get groceries. No, yeah, you ain't gotta impress me, man. All yeah, right? I ain't trying to impress you. <laughs> so it's like I like wearing clothes like that, but like I don't really have a the that 
So you're saying that the most you'll pay for a shirt is 30 bucks, 40 bucks? Where and are you going to find a $40 t-shirt? And I don't man? even want to do that. I don't even want to do There's been some shirts I've bought online that were like 30 bucks and then with shipping they were like 35 bucks. We usually all buy like two. So yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's the only because you're buying from some random site and somebody's making them themselves. And, I don't know, you know if I'm counting the shipping necessarily. I've never really seen a t-shirt. I mean, I could see like if you go to a concert or something and like they're selling their merch, that's going to run you 40 bucks. Sometimes, yeah. And then a lot of that's like sentimental. They try to get into your sentimental. Yeah, you're like, oh, I was there and saw... Billy Joe. Yeah, and Stacy kissed me. and <laughs> That was where Stacy and I fell in love, and she became my everything. <laughs> you see this shirt? This is how I met your mom, kids. Yeah, I met it when she stole it from me, and I was <laughs> mad because I paid 50 bucks for it at the concert. <laughs> this stain right here? <laughs> that's your, that's, that could have been you. That's your brother that you never had. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could have been you, but it was your, it was your brother. Was, yeah. <laughs> Say hi to your brother. <laughs> It's so gross. <laughs> oh, what about you, man? What's the most you'll pay for jeans or a t-shirt? Uh, the most that I have paid. So, now I'm not gonna lie, Jones. I went through a true religion phase. A uh, true religion is like it was like designer streetwear. Oh, okay, I got you. And uh, I definitely walked into a true religion store and dropped like. 300 400 bucks on like two things no <laughs> I have, like two shirts uh, a pair of shorts a hat that i don't even like the hat and, and yeah so maybe like two shirts a, 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 some shorts a hat well see here's the other thing for me that like it's not really fair for me to have have a say in this is like i've been a big dude for most of my life so if you go to big men's stores to buy clothes you yeah. pay three times the amount like, you'll go to buy a pair of jeans, and they're like $70, just because, and they're the trashiest-looking pants ever. But you're like, well, I need jeans, so I have to pay out this ridiculous amount for them. There's that and the fact that, like, a lot of designers don't make clothing in past, like, XL. Yeah, or, yeah, past a certain waistline or, or even mm-hmm. t- height-wise. or mm-hmm. So then you're getting a specialty person making that. It mm-hmm. uses more fabric. It uses blah, 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 blah. It's just... Because, like, I'm, like, a big dude. Even when I was, like, super skinny-ish, I was still, like, an XL to XL. Just right. because, like, I don't I don't necessarily want my shirts to be skin tight anyway. But, uh, yeah, I can't find any... I can't find any Bapes stuff that's going to look good on me. I couldn't find any, like, uh... Can't get this. Look, out, look at this awesome view I get to see. I can't. <laughs> Did you F the view up again? No, I, like, it, I hit the button, and then it, like, wouldn't go back. But you just can't find any, like, designer stuff. And then, like, then you're forced to go to, like, Walmart. Yeah, or go to, like, a big men's store. I tell you right now, Jones, I will not wear clothes out of Walmart. And Walmart, don't at me. I'll oh, change, yeah? I'll change my you mind. You wear Walmart. anything that Walmart has, even if it's just, like, a T-shirt to wear around Okay, well, see, I do purchase... Or like, underwear or something. Okay, I mean, I guess, but... I need to buy underwear. Thank I do, you. too. I went, dude, I went the other day to buy boxers, and it was, like, right after Christmas, and the entire section was, like, empty. I was like, y'all can't stock up some <laughs> dude, boxers? Dude, I know, right? <laughs> Why would they? Oh, Christmas. Yeah. 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 The stupidest present ever. Anyway, sorry. Number one. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess, like, I do buy those uh, breathable shirts from there. Oh, they're, like, the, like the compression type? The water wicking undershirts. Yeah, I love those. Uh, dude, I wear those like under everything. Like I used to wear like wife beaters, and now I just wear those like water wicking compression shorts. Because if you do start sweating, it doesn't like absorb into the whole effing shirt. Like a mm-hmm. wife beater will just get soaked, just like a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah they're wonderful. I oh man, that's that's a big life hack right there, man. If you sweat a lot, just wear a t-shirt under everything. It'll suck it all up. Yeah, but a water wicking one, yeah, like, those like are... a compression shirt, not just like a wife beater. It ain't Yo, gonna help you. They didn't have them when I was a kid. Man. I wish they did. Dude. <laughs> Well, and, and, well, and they came out like when we were a little older, and they were super expensive. Now mm-hmm. everybody makes them, so you can get them for like ten bucks, and, but they last forever. I used to have a Fat Farm shirt that was uh... Fat Farm. God, I remember that. <laughs> Not the shirt you had, but I remember that company. A baby Fat. I had a Fat Farm shirt that was made out of that. It was like my favorite shirt. I had to give it up though. Yeah. Do you have any clothes, Jonas, in your in your possession that are still from like high school? Uh, I have.
have some old shirts. I'd have to look and see how. I don't think from high school mainly because what about like, your I gained and lost a ton of weight and stuff didn't fit. So like I would get rid of clothes and things. You got rid of your riddle box shirt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Your great Malenko pullover. I did have a great Malenko <laughs> pullover. <laughs> I did have a robot box shirt. Your, your tunnel of love necktie. My tunnel of love <laughs> Nedden farm. Nedden farm. Can oh, we say I, even just, I just declined that. Yo, can, we, can we say Nedden on the channel? I don't think they know who we are. If if we talk about Nedden, is that okay? It's not really. I just screwed the pooch. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, dude, I did it wrong. <clears throat> I'm thinking that's all right to do. Dang it. I, I, we had a chance for a first down, and I declined the penalty, and now it's fourth down. Instead. Yeah, why'd you do that? It's, it's not a loser. We're up 21 to 3, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> so you won't wear anything from Walmart, except for boxers and socks and underwear. No, I'm not wearing anything from Walmart. But I do have uh, I have a pair of jeans that I, that I purchased, or my mom purchased, I should say, back in like 10th grade. Yeah. That I still have. It's the ones where the pockets don't work. Oh, those ones. You like those ones. Dude, I'm not going to say that I lost my virginity in those pants, but I'm not going to say I did not lose my virginity in those okay. pants. Okay. Well, okay. So they hold a very special place in my heart. Yeah. Put them in a frame them. Put them on the wall. <laughs> right? And they're so trash, dude. Like, can you believe that we used to walk around with, like, pants where, like, the bottoms of them were we all We tried to get them to look up? like that. I know that's my thing. You would be like, you would purposely like hook them under the bottom of your shoes when you like would yeah. walk. And you'd have like just a flap on the top because the whole back was like gone. Yes. And you that's, thought it, that's the state of those jeans. Dude. And that and you thought it looked good. It looked so bad. It looks so bad. <laughs> like, what are you homeless? Yeah, right. Is this the only pair you got? Like, <laughs> you need something to eat. <laughs> yeah, you hungry? <laughs> hey, girl, you hungry? <laughs> yeah, right. That's how I feel. But uh. <laughs> Yeah, those those jeans will never leave, man, and they still fit me, which I'm very proud to say. Or maybe I should be not proud because I was probably just a fat age and when I was in high school. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, man. I uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, dude, I have no problem with people keeping. I had a shirt. It was another Fat Farm shirt that I had until like the neck started getting holes in it. Boxers last me like 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, dude. I don't burn a hole in the crotch, Jonas. I don't know if you burn a hole in I the crotch. I don't burn a hole in my crotch either. No, they say if, like, your legs rub together, that, that can easily, like, burn a hole in, yeah. in the old T-zone. Yeah, well, yeah, and for pants and everything. I mean, it's a lot of friction over time. I don't have that issue, though. Well, good for you. Good maybe, for you. Maybe, wow, we have two guys named Taylor. Maybe we should work on our thigh gaps. Mind the gap? How do you feel about thigh gaps, Jones? Do you do you want a thigh gap? Does that do something for you? Um, You know what a thigh gap is. A thigh gap is when a girl is a so physically fit and or skinny and or anorexic, whichever one you want to pick, Yeah. that her thighs do not touch and it leaves a little gap where her, uh, hot. Where her midsection would be. It's kind of hot. Not her midsection, but you like that? Really? Yeah, it's kind of hot, yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, it's not like a necessity, but like... That's, 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 I don't I don't really know if I... I don't have a... I don't really see the appeal, I guess. I mean, besides the fact that she's like skinny and waifish. Skinny and waifish. I guess if you're into waifish chicks. <laughs> waifish. <laughs> Isn't that a term usually used to describe boys? What? <laughs> no. I don't know what clubs you've been going to. Uh, What's the technical definition of wayfish? I will look up wayfish real quick. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I don't know, dude. Thigh gaps ain't doing it, man. And thick girls are in too. Thick girls are in. You're right. Yeah, man. And that means thick boys too. Yeah. No. Adjective. Of a young person, thin and looking unhealthy and uncared for. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. It's like you're homeless. <laughs> I didn't know what I was calling these girls. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're homeless, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a comb. Here's a comb. Get that hair comb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> 
And now I'm trying to think, like, how could you hear that being applied to boys, man? You're the one who says it. You're the one who said it. Doesn't that I thought usually you go said for boys? Boy, before. Why would I say wayfish Dude, boys? You say all sorts of things. Why well, you ain't gonna pin this on me? I thought I heard it from you. <laughs> you, Dad. I <laughs> learned it from my... watching you. That's why I've learned all my bad habits <laughs> from TNT Dynamite. I don't think so, Jonas. If anybody's a bad influence, it's you. Yeah, that's probably true. I try to. But bring... I hide it as a good influence, so like people are like, "Oh, Jonas, he's a good influence." And then like, nope. <laughs> Sure ain't. <laughs> ain't that the truth? And I'm all, and I'm, I look like I'm all bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, no, nah, there's some good in there. Yeah, there's some. But good. I ain't, you ain't gonna find the good. You gotta dig for that. Yeah, dude. And that's kind of, I put out the good, and then, then like when no one else is paying attention, I'm like, why don't you go do this? Jonas, we really are yin and yang. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> we are the yin and the yang. And we're done. <laughs> well, on the next episode, guys. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. <coughs> Share the video, do something, tell a friend, make somebody watch it, whatever. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are. Uh, oh. Oh.